In this section, we'll see how to configure an IPv6 address on any of the router interface. So the first thing, just like we have an IP version 4, we can assign the IP address. Either we can use a manual configuration, which is what we call a static, or we can use auto configuration. So when you say auto configuration, the device is going to get the IPv6 address assigned automatically. Whereas in case of static, we are going to interface and we are going to assign the IPv6 address. Now in this section, our main focus will be on static manual configuration and inside the auto configuration, you have one new method, something called stateless auto configuration. Now in this stateless auto configuration, the device is going to get the IPv6 address automatically by including its own MAC address. Now we'll be getting into more in detail about this stateless auto configuration, how it is going to uh, do these things, probably much more in detail in our next section. So, but in this section, we are going to mainly focus on static, that is manual assigning. Now, when it comes to the commands, we don't really need to learn any new commands. So whatever the commands we use in IP version 4 configurations, we just need to use the similar kind of commands. But the only difference is wherever we use IP, we just need to change to IPv6. So which means, let's say, if I want to verify show IP OSP of neighbor, we just say show IPv6 OSP of neighbor. Now, if you want to verify the interface status, we use show IP interface brief, we use show IPv6 interface brief. So it's almost like this. So show IP route, we use show IPv6 route. So if you see wherever there is IP, we just need to replace most of the commands with IPv6. So most of the configurations are almost similar, which means we really don't need uh, to learn any new commands. Now to assign the IPv6 address here, we need to go to the interface F0 by 0. That's what we are doing here. We need to get into the interface F0 by 0 or fast Ethernet 0 by 0. And once we get into the interface mode, normally we assign the address as IP address. Now we need to say IPv6 address. So we need to go to the interface F0 by 0 and then we have to say IPv6 address. And also we need to assign the IPv6 address, whatever you decided, let's say FC00 colon 11 colon 11 colon 11 colon colon 1. So this is the IPv6 address, what I decided. And then you have to define the subnet mask. Now, when we define the subnet mask here, we don't have anything like 255, 255 like that, like we do in IP version 4. But here we need to define the subnet mask in terms of slash value. And the default slash value, which we use for any of the IPv6 address is slash 64. Now, which is going to say that the first 64 bits will be your global prefix value and the remaining 64 bits will be your interface ID. Now, if you see the commands, commands are almost similar like what we have done in our IP version 4. Now, let's try to get into some practical labs. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going into my uh, basic configuration of IPv6 and I'm taking this diagram, just a simple diagram with two routers and I want to do some basic configuration on my routers. Now I have a pre-built topology here, router one connecting to router two here, and both the routers are already already uh, just started here, and I don't have any of the initial configurations. So now to verify, I'm going into my command line of the router one. If I give show IP interface brief, there is nothing configured. And if I give show running configuration, I don't have any of the configurations configured here except the default. So what I want is I want to ensure that my both the routers, whatever the both the routers I'm using here, all both the routers must uh, must be configured with the IPv6 address, whatever we have is given on the interface. So let's let's start with the router one. I'll go to interface F0 by 0, and then we need to start with IPv6 address. Now if you see the IPv6 address of the router one F0 by 0, it is FC00, FC00 colon 11 colon 11 colon 11 colon colon 1 with a slash 64 subnet mask and then I need to give no shutdown command and I'm going to give one more command called no keep alive because in my GNS if you see here I don't have any connection on my LAN interface now this is something very basic you you might know this by default the F0 by 0 interface is not connecting to any switch now either there are two solutions either you connect to a switch here or simply give a command called no keep alive so when I give no keep alive, it will not send any keep alive messages on this interface and your interface will be still up even though there is no physical connection. Now this is something we generally do in the lab specific things, but not really required in the production networks. So 
on the router one. Now you can see the interface is up even though there is no connection. A similar way we need to go to the other interface which is connecting to router 2, the S1 by 0 interface. I am going to assign some IPv6 address 2001, 12:12:12:12:1 with slash 64 subnet mask. Now you can see there is incomplete command and the reason is here you can see I have typed instead of double dot I have typed dot and comma. So you know it's the same button on the keyboard you'll find. And still, I see some message. It says IPv6 address 2001 because here you can see again I have I did the same thing here. So you had to use Shift plus uh, that button here as per my keyboard. Done. So if you don't see any any error messages, probably the command is correct. And then we need to give no shutdown command to make the interface up. And clock rate command is not required here in the GNS program which I'm using. Now if you want to verify, we can use Show IPv6 interface brief. Now, in case if you try to verify like this, let's say if I give show IP interface brief, I don't see anything here because this is something relating to IP version 4 and we are not using IP version 4 here, we are using IP version 6. So we need to say show IPv6 interface brief because the entire IPv4 configurations are different and IPv6 configurations are different. Now, if you try to see here on F0 by 0 interface, we got two addresses. Now, if you remember, I discussed that uh, by default on the router, on the router interface F0 by 0, we have the one address which which I which we assigned just now FC00, and there is one more address we call that as link local address. Now, this link local address is the default IPv6 address present on every IPv6 enabled interface, whether you assign, whether you don't assign. So, it's something default comes, and by default that address starts with FE80 here. And the remaining portion will be more similar to your MAC address. So it's going to take the MAC address with a combination of FF, FE. Now this is something I'll discuss more in detail when I when I get into the stateless auto configuration because this is something more similar to that. So as of now, I'm I just I can just say that anything starting with FE80 and the remaining part will be your MAC address. Now if you want to verify the MAC address also, you can even verify with show interface F0 by 0. Uh, that include Mac. Yeah, show show run show just interface F0 by 0. If you just give that, you can see some hardware address. I think it it will display as address. Okay, here you can see this is CA0510200000. You can see this C8051000 something like this. I'll explain you more in detail when I come to the stateless auto configuration. Uh, because I can I can give some more better idea on that when we discuss the stateless auto configuration. Okay, so as of now I'm I'm not going getting into detail of that, but what you need to understand here is one will be the address whichever we assign and the other will be the link local address which is non-rootable. Now similar way the same thing how happens with every IPv6 enabled interface. So let me go to the router two and do the same thing interface F0 by 0 IPv6 address. FC00. I'm using 22 colon 22 colon 22 just to make it simple. And then no shutdown command and no keep alive command to make the interface up even if it is uh, if it is not connected. And then interface S1 by 0 IPv6 address 2001 12 colon 12 colon 12 colon colon 2 with slash 64 subnet mask. Done. So if you verify with show IP interface brief, show IPv6 interface brief. Now I can see on the interface we got two addresses or the same address whatever you you would decide it as per the diagram. Now the same thing you'll find on the S1 by 0 also the same address. Now if I try to ping from router 1 to router 2 WAN interface I should be able to ping. So whenever you are using IPv6 address if you find really long addresses uh, initially I suggest you to type because so that you can get used to typing this IPv6 addresses but once you are comfortable with typing probably you can simply copy paste the addresses for verification. You can see from the router 1, uh, router 2 WAN interface I'm able to ping to the router 1 WAN interface because they are directly connected with each other. But if I try to ping to the LAN interface from router 2 to the router 1 LAN interface you cannot ping because they are different networks and you need to do implement some routing protocol if you want if you want that communication should happen. Anyway, that is something we'll get into more in detail 
later on so now in this section what we have seen is we have majorly seen how to assign the ipv6 address on any of the interface which is running ip version where, wherever you want to run ip version 6 now the command is very simple wherever we use ip we just need to replace with ipv6 and then we say ipv6 address and assign the ipv6 address and then define whatever the subnet mask or whatever the slash value you want to assign 